Hello, in this short video, I'm going to introduce EPIC. We are the European joint effort toward a highly productive programming environment for heterogeneous exascale computing. I'm Antonio Peña and I'm the technical coordinator of the project. We have three overarching ob objectives in this project. First and foremost, high coding productivity. We want upcoming supercomputers that are highly complex to be easily programmable by non-CS developers. Second, high performance. There's always a trade-off between productivity and performance, but we, with EPIC, we, we aim at high productivity without losing performance. And three, we wouldn't be an exascale project without being energy awareness. We want to take the most of the underlying hardware, and for that, we also do uh, very effective scheduling. This is how we plan to transition to exascale. Our lemma is high coding productivity. Write your code once, using high level abstractions and deploy it everywhere with high efficiency and energy awareness. We have a shared memory programming model and users are, will be able to select either a distributed memory programming model to go distributed manually or underneath a distributed shared memory back end so that it does the distribution automatically. We have a guided code generation uh, companion that will help on the initial stages on porting applications. We have extensive performance tools supporting the development. And also all these will run on top of upcoming Exascale hardware, including accelerators. We have five big applications for the European ecosystem that are co-design drivers and also act as demonstrators of all of our amazing ideas. So now I'm going to list the specific objectives uh, and components that we have as a summary. First, our shared memory programming model is OMS. For that, in OMS, we have done, we have developed support for accelerator kernels in high level programming directives, OpenSSC and OpenMP. We have also included capabilities for tasking within accelerators. We have included energy aware scheduling, heterogeneous memory management, and also support for the latest for, uh, features of Fortran and C++. Our tools provide integral profiling, performance prediction, and visualization of traces. We have developed our version of OMSAT cluster that goes distributed automatically on top of a new uh, back end on top of Argo DSM. Argo DSM is a distributed shared memory system that eases our development of porting uh, of uh, OMSAT cluster and also provides higher efficiency. It includes very uh, noble uh, features such as queue delegation locking, strong memory model, and also accelerator memory within fully cache coherent address space. On the side of OMS, alternatively, application developers can use GPI. GPI is the implementation of GASPI by Fraunhofer, and we have developed uh, further the integration of GASPI and OM so that it's uh, easier for users. And GPI now includes two very uh, noble uh, features that are automatic data compression and eventually consistent data types. These are outstanding features for AI applications, improving programmability, productivity, and also performance. Parallel where is our guided uh, our guided tool. So it uh, guides developers on how to parallelize their code with directives. It now supports OMS and OpenACC, OMS and OpenMP, automatic taskification, and also the latest features of Fortran and C++. Our five big applications from the European ecosystem provide a wide range of uh, demonstrators and uh, co-design drivers. They cover shared memory, distributed shared memory. They are data intensive and also extreme data. And of course, we target the different programming models for targeting accelerators. We support CUDA, OpenSEC, OpenMP offloading, and OpenCL. So we do offloading tasks, any combination of them, and also tasking within the accelerators themselves. So within EPIC, we have made all these European ecosystem work together. As I mentioned, there are two flavors for uh, as for programming models for application developers. On the one hand, they can do explicitly 
gas plasms so that to code explicitly the uh, distribution on the cluster. On the other hand, they can do uh, just OMS on the version of, uh, of OMS at cluster that will go to the distribution in the cluster automatically on top of the new Argo DSM backend. EPIC has sponsored from the very beginning the Mare Nostrum hackathon. We, this is not a GPU only hackathon, this is a hackathon where we can help a variety of applications from our knowledge in EPIC, but we also bring outsider uh, mentors and experts. We selected seven teams uh, for each edition and we already did third edition in 2011, uh, 2021. Stay tuned for the fourth edition in our website. We developed uh, guidance for parallel programming. Uh, you can check them in this link over here. There are three main steps. Preparation of the code for parallelism, creating the parallel version of your code and optimizing your parallel code in an iterative uh, way. And this all from the point of view of the EP programming environment, but it's also applicable to other programming environments. Check it out. And as for impact, we have delivered a comprehensive exascale ready production level programming environment targeting heterogeneous exascale supercomputers and focusing on programming productivity. We covered important segments of the emerging HPC markets in extreme computing, extreme data, and also AI. We have impacted, we're influencing standard bodies such as OpenMP, OpenSCC, and MPI. And of course, we're promoting European excellence in extreme parallelism and extreme data. So we are always looking forward to hear from you. Please check our code repository. Everything is public there. And do not hesitate to contact me with anything, comments, uh, propositions for collaborations. Uh, and last but not least, I invite you to watch the rest of the videos, which will provide you with more details and amazing uh, results that we have done within these three years of EP.